Hi there, I'm Daniel Martin. Welcome to Body and Soul, your daily health check on 938 Live. And today I'm kicking off a brand new series that's going to take place every Monday right here on Body and Soul, a health series on chlorella. It's known as a superfood and is really one of nature's powerhouses. We're asking the questions in this ongoing series of what is this naturally occurring algae and why is it so well regarded for its benefits? We're going to take a look at uh, the role of this naturally occurring algae in, in many aspects of your health, the world of supplements, deficiencies in health such as hypertension and so on, and what's been missing in your diet and your healthy lifestyle. Joining me on this series is Associate Professor Harish Kumar Kantilal, who's an Associate Professor based at Massa University College, Faculty of Medicine uh, based in KL Malaysia. If you have any questions today, you can join me live on air. 669-1193. We're going to present so much good information. You're going to be dying to call through. I absolutely recommend it. 669 one one nine three eight phone lines are open right now. I do want to pr- welcome to the program, Dr. Harish. Welcome indeed. For your first time joining us on the show, we're pleased to have you. Thank you. Let's start off right now with an understanding of uh, nutritional supplements. That's going to be my main area of focus today because, you know, it, it's a huge international market. Many Singaporeans have invested a lot of time and effort to try and understand them and purchase them, of course. But maybe we don't understand enough about what they are really. What are nutritional supplements at their, at their core value? Okay, good morning, Singapore. So basically, uh, one must understand that there are so many different names, okay, that is given to supplements. Mm. Some call it as nutritional supplement. Some even call it as dietary supplement, food supplement. Now, all of these actually have the same meaning. Mm. Now, basically, a supplement is a preparation which is intended to actually supplement the diet and to provide nutrients. Now, there are three main nutrients that we must get in our daily diet. Okay. Number one, vitamins number two minerals now most people will stop at minerals but they forget that there is a third important one Mm. which are called phytonutrients now phytonutrients are very important because they are actually derived from plants okay phyto the word phyto comes from plants okay plant-based yes plant-based nutrients so now phytonutrients are very important because they have got lots of anti-inflammatory properties mm-hmm. they have got antioxidant properties okay at the same time so what basically supplements do is they actually fill in the gaps okay that we do not get in our daily diet so they are very important because we may not be getting enough vitamins, we may not be getting enough minerals and many people I believe out there who have got no time to eat fruits and vegetables, yes. they are very very busy. So they are definitely not getting enough of phytonutrients and fibre. Which is that third area, you're so right, there's so many of us probably leave out of the equation because I think, I mean over time we know that we have to take nutritional supplements because the increasingly processed diet that we're eating is so lacking as you described yes. um, and but we know we hear things about you know five servings three servings of fruits and veggies and then you're fine for the day but at the at the end of the day those are really the bare minimum exactly. that you need isn't it it's not always the amount that gives you optimum health yes basically the f- five to seven servings okay which again i would say most people do not actually even get that okay don't even get that because if you ask them five to seven servings of fruits and vegetables a day they will just give you a stare most of them <laughs> only get five to seven servings a week perhaps yes okay so they are actually missing on phytonutrients they're missing on minerals and vitamins so this becomes an accumulated problem okay so as, as finally eventually a day will come when the vitamin and mineral deficiency will finally show up as one particular many Manifestation. It may be hypertension, okay, it can be heart problems or cardiovascular disease or something which is missing in the diet. So one must always make sure that the diet is complete, but it's a bit difficult to achieve with this stressful lifestyle that most of us have. So that's where nutritional supplements play a major role. Mm. They come in, okay, and professionally fill up all the gaps that we need to have in our daily diet. I'm glad you described it that way because so many people have this perspective that disease or the problem that happens usually later on in life um, is just it just happens then but that's not the case it's a build-up effect over many years of not eating properly and not having a proper lifestyle and not having the enough nutrients and minerals and phytonutrients as you described phytonutrients talk to us more about these what exactly are these plant-based phytonutrients okay basically phytonutrients again I'd like to like to clarify here phytonutrients are substances which are derived from plants okay yeah. basically they are pigments they have got nice colors actually mm-hmm. which are very beneficial to health okay it is neither mineral 
nor a vitamin it is phytonutrients now let me give you one good example now one good examples would be something called carotenoids now carotenoids are actually phytonutrients mm-hmm. they are normally found in vegetables and fruits which are orange and yellow in color carrots so comes to mind carrots yes okay carrots when you come to carrots we have got beta carotene so beta carotene we have got alpha carotene then we have lutein in green vegetables we have zeaxanthin in green vegetables now all of this together they are actually what phytonutrients then we talk about something red in color tomatoes now tomatoes are rich in lycopene now lycopene is very important for a man prostate health so it's very very important because prostate health is always linked to lycopene. Mm. So this how if a person who is always consuming enough of lycopene throughout his lifetime, okay, will have lesser problems dealing with prostate once he reaches 50 or 60. I so see. as you can see, the beneficial role that supplements actually play. It's a definitely a very important investment that one must make. We'll talk more about this just as we continue right ahead on Body and Soul. This edition of Body and Soul is brought to you by Abel Do Chlorella. Welcome back to Body and Soul on 938 Live. Today I'm chatting with Associate Professor Harish Kumar Kantilal who has a background in areas of research in microbiology, medical science and nutrition. He's based at the Faculty of Medicine of Massa University College in KL Malaysia. We're talking about nutritional supplements today, what your body recognizes and needs. All this is part of our ongoing health series on chlorella. Uh, we'll talk more about that as well and how this fits into the whole discussion just ahead on body and soul right now dr harish you were talking to us about the important role of phytonutrients and uh, how this fits into our understanding of nutritional supplements usually you say the third category that is probably left out so do we the bottom line i think the big question is do we really need nutritional supplements in our lifestyle okay that's a very good question because the moment i go for uh, presentations and talks the first thing people ask me is do i need supplementation in my mm. life actually it's very important because if we look at certain areas okay the first thing why we need supplementation is because we should understand that our soil that we have that we are growing vegetables and our fruits and our plants the soil has degraded in quality okay the soil amounts of mineral the soil amounts of certain nutrients have really declined over the years of far- intensive farming mm. so the moment the soil does not have the mineral okay and whatever which is needed like certain soils are deficient in zinc in copper okay in all these important nutrients mage uh, micro and also macro so once if the soil don't have the nutrients automatically the plants which are grown on the soil do not have the adequate nutrients right okay and from there the problem will go on because these plants will be eaten by the human beings who grow them on the soil and when the human beings eat this plant they would they think that they have the adequate nutrition but the soil is deficient so automatically the plants will be deficient and the final manifestation is shown in the human being where they start showing symptoms now let me go back to history again one good example would be the kashan's disease in china now they had this disease a strange disease in this particular area district in china called kashan there was you know, day and night the scientists were thinking what is this problem where people are having all kinds of funny symptoms and finally they found out that the soil at the kashan district in china did not have the important mineral called selenium right it was totally deficient of selenium and we know that selenium is a very important mineral which is needed to make our body natural antioxidant so from there they realized that minerals in the soil are very important because they are the one who are transferred to the plants and from the plants they are transferred to the human beings so again it's very clear that supplementation is very important and a second thing is many of us let's face the fact we have got no time to eat a balanced diet we are all so busy many of us don't even have breakfast our lunch is just on the run we hardly eat fruits and vegetables By the way, the correct way to eat fruits and vegetables is always before meal and not after ah, meal. Ah, that's a, a good myth to correct. There. Everyone has been eating f- fruits after, after meal. Dessert. Which is wrong. Dessert is wrong. It should always be before meal. Oh, tell us why. We'll come back and you'll tell us exactly why. That's a good point to leave off on. The chlorella is indeed one of the most popular superfood supplements and it's a single-celled green algae which thrives in fresh water and intense sunlight. It's so small it can't be seen by the naked eye, but it's been around on this planet for the last 3.5 billion years. Wellness experts believe it to have benefits which include anti-aging protection, increase immune system, 
effectiveness and helping the body to naturally detoxify. Chlorella also contains the highest sources of chlorophyll in the plant world and of all the green algae studied so far, chlorella has the highest, often ranging from 3 to 5% of pure natural chlorophyll. Find out how you can benefit from chlorella. Call 6339-5045 for more information. This message is brought to you by Abel Dole Chlorella.